Good morning everyone and welcome back to another What I Wore This Week video, a whole week in outfits. Starting on a Tuesday because I am very naughty like that. It was Monday, obviously it was Monday yesterday and I was heading to Copenhagen super early in the morning so it was too dark for me to be able to show you my outfit. So actually what I'm wearing today, and sorry about the echo in here, I just realized how bad it is. I'm in the hallway by the way, looking good, and I cannot wait to share my first few home renovations before and after videos with you guys. I'm actually not heading anywhere right now because I have a very much a working from home, filming and editing kind of day because I was out of the house all day yesterday so I need to kind of get back on track with some things for today so I'm staying in the entire day. But I thought I just, you know, wanted to show you the entire outfit because this is, this is exactly what I wore yesterday when I was outside of the house the entire day. We just pick up my bag here as well. So I'm wearing my Acne Jensen boots because they are just my favorite boots ever, ever, ever. Then I'm wearing my blue straight leg jeans from Armed Angels in Organic Cotton. Wearing an other stories belt, super old, but still love this belt a lot. Then I'm wearing a basic black t-shirt and then my amazing biker jacket from Pillow Chicago. I love this jacket. Every time I wear it, I feel so special and badass all at the same time. Um, I wanted to wear something that was really me and really represented me and my true style. And I think that this entire look is exactly that. Brought my Alex shop a bag with me as well to stuff all of my things into a water bottle and snacks and whatnot. And then I'm wearing jewelry from my own jewelry brand. Let me just zoom you guys in a bit. Wearing a curb chain. This is a short curb chain with no pendants on. I find that kind of cute sometimes, just leaving it as it is. Wearing an anchor chain with a silver star. And then I'm wearing a long gold chain with the metal pendant that has an S on the back side. So that's one of the things that I love about the metal pendant. We left it plain on the back side on purpose so that you can get it engraved if you so wish. And then for my ears, I'm wearing my dune hoops with a star pendant, basic hoop, meadow stud, and then the shooting star stud up here. So what I was doing in Copenhagen yesterday is that I'm actually working on a project with some other Danish boss ladies who are each in their own way also into sustainable fashion like I am and um, we're starting sort of like a network sort of a collective and I cannot wait to see what this year brings for us. We are five women in total um, and we're going to be providing some things and some some amazing and exciting things for this year. So really lovely to meet them and like I said I just wanted to wear something that really represented who I am because we're going to get our pictures taken. I brought my brother who's also um, sometimes my photographer. He works with photography, so he came with me to Copenhagen and he took some portraits of us and he took some group photos of us as well so we can kick things off with some nice images. Also participated in a podcast afterwards, speaking all things sustainable fashion and, and capsule wardrobes, which is amazing as well. So great start to the year, I must say. Obviously, I wore something on top of this as well because it's winter right now, so this was this would have been too cold. So let me just layer up what I wore on top of this outfit in the streets of Copenhagen. So there we have it. That is what I layered on top of my outfit. You know, I like to wear my, my biker jacket as a blazer sort of thing. So I always just layer a wool jacket on top and then, you know, wrap a big old scarf around my neck and put on a beanie like this and then I... I make sure to stay warm. That is it for Monday's and Tuesday's outfit. Hello everyone and happy Wednesday. For a minute there I forgot which day it was because I started on Tuesday so I was a little bit confused. I literally just walked in the door. I just came home from the office and from running a few errands downtown. I had a few things I needed to drop off and pick up and I've been working at the office all morning. It's currently... 15 minutes past one, so I had my lunch there and then I drove off into town. I had another appointment at the vet's with Oscar because he still has that thing with his eyes, so we're just getting him checked up every once in a while and everything looks great, so for now, no more checkups. Woohoo! So yeah, just checking in to show you today's outfit and I'm sweating. I thought I just wanted to show you like all the layers 
before showing you the inner layers. So still wearing my coat, still wearing my boots, wearing these lovely brown boots that you've probably seen a hundred times. These are secondhand Bianco boots, a couple of years old. Then I'm wearing the same coat I wore yesterday, I think. Really been loving wearing this coat lately. I've had it for a couple of years, but especially lately I've really loved wearing it. So wearing that and then with my camel colored scarf, I love the fact that they're not completely the same beige color. I love that they're slightly different. So never really paired the scarf with this coat because I always thought like it's too much base. With the brown boots and the touch of black, I actually really love it. Shopper bag as well, because that's the ultimate work bag for me. Hello, Missy. She's acting a bit weird because I just came home. Wants my attention, so probably wrap up and give it to her. Let me just strip all these layers off, like not all of them, but the coat, the outerwear, and then show you what I'm wearing on the inside. So there we have it, that's the inside layer. Just a pair of basic straight leg jeans from Dr. Denim that I've had a couple of years, and then this good old jumper from H&M, my ultimate winter jumper. Same jewelry as yesterday. I felt like putting my hair up in a bun today just to show off all of my ear candy. And I also felt like wrapping that big old scarf around my neck. And sometimes I feel it's easier when my hair just is just out of the way. Tonight I'm going to a choir like tryout in my local area. It's the first time and it's something I've been considering doing for a really long time. So I'm really excited but also nervous. And uh, I'll see if I can remember to check in tomorrow and let you know how it went. But it's one of my goals for this year that I want to do something that's just a hobby and has nothing to do with anything else. Just plain hobby, something that I just love doing. And I love singing, I love music. It's been, you know, a big passion of mine for many years. So quite excited to pick back up on that and to see if this choir thing is, is anything for me. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. Good morning, everyone. Happy Thursday. It's currently 11 o'clock and I just decided to take kind of the morning off to clean the house, at least the parts of it that we actually use right now because it desperately needed to. Suggested that while listening to the Wardrobe Crisis podcast. I only recently started listening to that podcast and I absolutely love it. Like anyone who's interested in fashion in any way should definitely give that podcast a listen because it kind of discusses all the sides of so-called slow fashion that we all need to think about um, and really shows that sustainable like sustainable fashion and slow fashion in general can never be one-sided so definitely give it a listen if you've never listened to it like it's such a joy to listen to as well i like listening to it while like i have my earphones in so i listen to it while cleaning and um like to listen to it while i do puzzles in the evening to just stress out even when i'm working out and things like that so Big thumbs up from here. So yeah, I took the morning off. I went to that choir lesson yesterday and oh my God, it was such a joy. I got accepted to join the choir as well. I had to do kind of a little tryout in the, when we had a like mid break throughout the session. Um, it's two and a half hours every other Wednesday. So definitely doesn't take up too much time either. So really looking forward to that. So I am on my way out to do a bit of grocery shopping before making myself a lovely lunch and then just do a bit of work. I'm gonna take, ting gonna take things a bit slow today because it has been sort of a hectic, hectic week with some, some long days like that Copenhagen trip is definitely still hovering in my, in my mind and in my body. So taking it kind of slow today. So this is my outfit of the day and since I'm only going out from the house into the car and from the car into the grocery store. I know it's not the, the most like practical winter outfit, but I think it's okay. It's not super cold. We haven't had any snow in Denmark yet whatsoever. So it's pretty mild at the most, around seven or eight degrees. So this should be fine. If I were to go out in this like throughout the whole day and I know that I was gonna be outside for a really long time, I would just layer some thermal underwear underneath, wrap a big old scarf around my neck, bring some gloves, and then I would be fine. Haven't worn this leopard jacket in a while, but I just felt, felt like whacking it out today. The same acne boots that I've been wearing all week, a pair of organic cotton jeans from Armed Angels, and then this amazing thrifted bumper jacket that I bought in Copenhagen a while back, navy gray jumper, same shopper bag that I've been wearing all week, and then my gray Carhartt hat that 
I bought for myself, seeing as though Morton got really annoyed that I was always stealing his Carhartt hat, so now I have my own. So yeah, that is today's outfit. Really low key. I'm gonna get my little butt to the grocery store and then I will see you guys with another outfit tomorrow. Hey everyone, it's now Friday and it is 12 o'clock. Morten and I just had some lunch. He's home sick in bed today. Um, so we had lunch together, which was actually quite nice. So I'm uh, on my way out the door as per usual because then I can like dress up full on like with all the layers and really show you how I like to dress in this winter weather. On my way out the door because I'm just heading real quickly to the office to handle a few parcels and then I need to go send something as well. And uh, yeah, just a few errands that I need to run. And so I thought I wanted to share you, share with you what I'm wearing today. Obviously, like with all of the other days, this is not only what I'm wearing today. It's a really great, dreadful day. It's raining, like really just pouring down today. So I'm gonna be wearing my black wool coat on top, my vintage wool coat and then Probably put on a beanie because it's really windy as well and then bring an umbrella with me. But I really wish I could just wear this outfit like it is right now. I'm gonna have to wait until spring for that. Shoes, I'm wearing a pair of inwear Oxford shoes that I've had for some years. When I made my last video where I kind of go through all of my storage, I stumbled upon these and I've been taking a break from them. And I just realized that I've been missing them so much. They're so comfortable and very chic. I love pairing shoes like this also, loafers with a, some sort of a nice sock and I'm just wearing a gray ripped sock from Arkit here together with the shoes, which is a nice and chic way to stay warm. Decided to take them out of storage and then store away my brown Everlane loafers. And um, although really loving those loafers, I've had a really hard time breaking them in and that, that's just resulted in me not really reaching for them as much. So I've just stored them away and might save them for some other time, might work on, work a little bit more on breaking them in some other time. But for now, I'm just gonna enjoy wearing these instead. Wearing a pair of vintage Levi's jeans as well, Everlane blazer, organic basics t-shirt, and then my vintage Chanel bag. Not wearing any necklaces whatsoever today, just wanted to keep it really simple. Quickly wanted to let you guys know that I am seeing and hearing all of those messages you guys have been sending me Lately regarding Everlane, there's been a lot like debates going all over the internet at the moment about Everlane concerning whether they are really as ethical as they say or not. And I'm totally on board with you guys. I am concerned about that, that as well. Um, let me just be real honest about that. It's not gonna change anything um, in regards to the pieces I have from Everlane that I love using. I'm still gonna love using those, but I, I definitely see some of the points in some of the like articles and some of the contents that's been up on the internet lately, especially that video that Levi Hildebrandt made about you know, questioning Everlane and their whole business model. I don't necessarily agree with everything he says in that video, but I do think it's important to stay critical as consumers and he has some very valid points for sure. That being said, I still have a lot of Everlane pieces in my wardrobe. I still have worked with them in the past and I still love the pieces. Just like when you look at the pieces themselves, I love them to death and I will continue to. So just wanted to let you guys know that I am aware. I'm not like just closing my eyes or shutting down. I'm aware and I'm trying to educate myself and still have a critical sense to what's being put out there. But um, it's definitely important to, to be critical, but it's also important to be kind. Just remember that. So yeah, that is Friday's outfit. Let me just show you quickly how it looks with the coat layered on top. So here is the full look with my big ass vintage wool coat. I love this coat so much. It feels like wearing a big hug, like a just a big duvet covering my body. It's so nice. Probably will wear my beanie as well. Also gonna be bringing an umbrella with me so I won't get completely drenched. So this is it for today. I will see you guys for another outfit tomorrow. Look at that sky. That is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. <laughs> Good morning guys. So it is Saturday morning now. It's currently almost 8.30, so really early up on a Saturday. I am on my way out because I'm meeting my sister and my sister-in-law for brunch at my sister's place. So I just need to 
um, swing by the local bakery to pick up some bread and then go pick up my sister-in-law and then we'll drive off to my sister together. So I needed to get up a bit early. We were meeting up at my sister's place at 9.30. So wearing something super comfortable as we're just gonna be chilling out, eating, talking for a few hours. So I wanted to wear something smart casual, but also something that was super comfortable to eat in. Something that wouldn't be too tight on my on my tummy. Let's just run through the outfit here. I'm wearing my white Veya trainers here with a pair of gray socks. The same socks actually as yesterday. Well, not the exact same pair, the same style anyway. And I quite like matching those socks to a gray jumper like this. I think that kind of like ties the whole look in very nice together. And I've really come to love putting on a nice sock when you're showing your ankles like this, like if you're wearing any cropped jeans or any cropped pants, it's really nice to wear a nice sock with the look. Like you don't need to freeze off your ankles for the sake of style. You can totally make it look stylish with a pair of nice socks. So really come to love that whole thing. Then I'm wearing a pair of navy blue pants that I have hemmed myself to make them a bit more cropped because yeah, many of you guys know that I like my pants to be cropped. I like to either show that little bit of skin down there or like the top of my ankle boots or I just like cropped jeans and pants better. I find it a lot more flattering on me unless they're like wide leg pants. So hemmed them a bit myself. These were a gift from Tencel. I recently did a campaign with them just spreading awareness about the fabric Tencel and how sustainable it is and all the great utilities that that's, that kind of material has. So they are from Armed Angels. I will leave a link for them down below, but they're just, sorry about the light by the way, but it's because it's super early in the morning, so it's still quite dark, but they're navy blue color. I'm not even sure you can see it on camera, but anyway, I have a few pictures of the pants on my Instagram if you want to be able to see the color a bit better. The same gray, navy gray jumper that I'm wearing all the time. This is one of the items in my wardrobe I've been wearing most like last year I think. Wearing a really old inwear blazer on top of that, this long line boyfriend blazer that you've seen a thousand times before. I think I've had this in my wardrobe for, I don't know, like seven years or something like that. Still going strong, absolutely love it. Then I felt like spicing things up a bit with something else on a black bag. So I decided to wear my brown or my bag handbag with the look and I quite like how it breaks up the colors a bit. You could also easily wear some sort of a, you know, a real colored bag, like a red bag or something to kind of give that pop of color. But you guys know that I love my neutrals. Jewelry wise, I'm just wearing a, let me just zoom you guys in a bit. So jewelry wise, I'm wearing that same metal necklace that I've been wearing almost all week. Just this one, I just wanted to keep things quite simple. Wearing my starling ring and then for the ears, Again, I wanted to go for something really simple. So I'm wearing the basic hoops and then just with the shooting star pen or the shooting star stud up here. And as some of you guys know, you can buy the, those um, earrings in like a pack of three with the star, the round meadow stud and then the, sh the basic hoops together. So you can kind of like mix and match and play around with styling them, which I really enjoy doing myself. So there you have it. That is today's outfits. Really comfortable and very, I feel very chic and I definitely want to like save this in my own clothing library and rem remind myself to wear this exact look. I'm just going to put on my, my gray scarf because I won't really be going outside other than from the car and into the bakery and then from the car and into my sister's place. So don't really want to wear about wearing a coat or anything like that. So I will see you guys with the final outfit tomorrow. Hello guys, so it's Sunday. It's the final day of my week in outfits and I'm all wrapped up because we're on our way out the door to a dog training session with Oscar. It's currently 9.30 and we have to be there at 10 o'clock. So from 10 to 11, we're gonna do a bit of a dog training session with Oscar and a lot of other dogs. We we used to do that a lot in the past, like ever since he was a puppy, but we've had a break for a little more than a year, I think, but we've just really been missing it and Oscar loves it. So gonna see if we can turn that into some sort of a family event every Sunday, at least for this year. We'll see how long it lasts, but we've just really been missing going to those dog, dog training sessions. I'm looking really tired. I didn't really want to faff around with makeup and stuff like that because it's raining outside. And when we get back, it's going to be very much a, a late back Sunday in the house. I have some things I need to paint and we got the kitchen cupboards over the, um, 
like the kitchen worktop yesterday, so I need to clean them and then I need to organize the kitchen. Really looking forward to that. The kitchen is getting more and more done. So I need to spend some time doing that and then maybe I'll go for a run later. Really very much a chill day in the house, which is gonna be nice because yesterday was a really social day. I was at my sister's place in the morning, wasn't home before around three o'clock and then five o'clock we had a couple of friends with their children visiting us and then the whole evening just went by within the blink of an eye. So a really nice social day yesterday. And yeah, so I need to pick up on some things at home today. Today's outfit, really practical because as I just said, it's raining outside and I also just want to stay warm. So I'm wearing a pair of wellies. These are from Ilse Jakobsen. You've probably seen them a couple of times on my channel. Bought them secondhand on a website called Trend Sales a couple of years ago. Wearing a pair of Armed Angels skinny jeans, a grey secondhand jumper that I've had for years, grey jumpsons of Elgin scarf that I've also had for years, and then my good old puffer jacket to make sure that I stay warm, and then a beanie to keep the hair in place and to keep my ears warm. So that is the final outfit of today. I'm sorry if it's a bit dark, but um, the mornings in Denmark at this time of year are just incredibly dark so that's just how it is thank you guys so much for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed coming along with me for another week in outfits i will see you very soon for another one bye guys yeah <laughs> bye guys